Today, we're gonna to be talking about everything brogue. We're gonna talk about the quarter brogue, semi brogue, and full brogue. Broguing or brogue comes from uh, Scotland and Ireland, where they basically put perforations in their shoes because when um, they'd be walking in the country, it'd be moist or wet, and it would help the water drain out of their shoe so it wouldn't be s soaking in there and staying in the shoe constantly. And basically all broguing is, is these little perforations around the different parts of the shoe. So I mean, anytime you see holes or um, accents along the toes or the sides of the shoe is what, that's what broguing is. Today, however, it's used strictly for design. Exactly. style, right? I mean, yeah, exactly. It doesn't have anything to do with, really, I mean, it does have something to do with the style of shoe, but it doesn't, like, you know, these are all technically Oxford shoes right here, but the broguing is the style that's on top of all of them. There you go. So the first brogue that we have today is the quarter brogue. So the biggest thing you should know about quarter brogue is that there is no broguing in the front, which means it is nice and clear in the front, and the separation, which is at the capital, does have broguing. So the broguing on the quarter brogue is not on the front, it's only along the cap and towards the back of the shoe. The next one is the semi brogue, and the semi brogue does have the broguing on the toe, but it only has it along the cap of the toe as well, not closer to the back. I mean, this one goes a little far back, but yeah. it is still the cap of the toe. Because you, you can see that it's, it's the brogue design is working its way up. Right, it's exactly. The shoe. Like the, there's more broguing throughout yes. the shoe. So I'm gonna do a little compare and contrast, you can see. Right, if this if this had the toe broguing, this would be a semi-broke as well. Exactly. And the full broke. Full broke is a, uh, a broguing pretty much everywhere on the shoe. It's on the, the toe, it's on the cap, it's on the vamp, it's not even all the way towards the back of the shoe. And um, this is probably the most formal of the brogue family, I would say. Yeah, no, you're right. This, yeah. is a, this is more formal. Um, what's your favorite brogue? I'm gonna have to go with the full brogue, just because it's it's the most formal, and I like kind of complication in shoe. Like, yeah. you know, this is simple, this is complicated, but as long as it's not over the top, like I don't really get the contrasting colors too much in my brogue. Exactly. But well, the more the more broguing, the better in my opinion. In terms of, so my favorite is the quarter brogue. I think because it's simple, uh, you dress it up, dress it down, it's more me, it's my style. But as you can see, George and I were two opposite spectrum. sides of the spec. Hey, I mean, I love I love a good quarter broke as well. I yeah, mean, yeah, exactly, because this is my shoe, George's shoe, my shoe, George. You know, you have your favorites. The biggest difference in brogues is the amount of broke that is on the shoe, broguing, and where the brogue is. Exactly, so I mean, placement. yeah, quarter brogue, no broguing on the on the toe. Semi brogue, broguing on the toe, and just the cap of the shoe. And full brogue, literally everywhere. full broguing everywhere. Exactly. Yes. And that pretty much wraps up uh, everything you need to know about brogues and brogue shoes and broguing in general. I mean, there's tons of different things like wing tips and full exactly. wing tips and. You can talk about broguing for days, honestly, and uh, that's just pretty we, much we can. pretty much pretty much the beginning of uh, what you need to know about you know identifying shoes and what a brogue actually is. So uh, be sure to check us out on Instagram at Jens Lounge, and be sure to subscribe, like, comment below, um, tell us which shoes are your favorite, or uh, which ones maybe you would you would like in your closet, and uh, yeah, thank you.